Hi, this is Guy Wallace, and I'd like to talk to you about performance-based curriculum architecture design, which addresses performance-based onboarding and ongoing development. Curriculum architecture design is also known as CAD. A curriculum architecture design effort does not create any new content. It really just establishes what are the performance-based requirements what are the enabling knowledge and skills that are required to perform? And then it assesses existing content for its reuse potential. Reuse either as is or after modification. It takes all of that data and then designs a modular set of instruction, instructional systems, if you will, that addresses the authentic performance requirements back on the job. A training and development path that's created as a result of the design phase then leads to a prioritization phase where executives, leaders of the enterprise determine what are the priorities given the gaps that exist. The development of a path, or paths in this case, enable leadership to visually see what training, instruction, exists already as is or needing modification that presents the gaps in that total system of instruction for prioritization. Those gaps that aren't addressed are left to informal and social means for learning.